thanks to technological advancements, scientists can observe the universe's evolution in unprecedented detail and improve our understanding of the cosmos. From the Lagrangian L2 point, covering one-third of the sky, Euclid will measure how dark matter acts as a magnifying glass. By using weak gravitational lensing and galaxy clustering as its primary investigative tools, Euclid will precisely map the dark matter distribution to make us understand how dark energy affects the universe's expansion. But how does weak gravitational lensing work? The concentration of matter along the line of sight can act like a magnifying glass, bending and distorting light from galaxies and clusters behind it. Scientists distinguish between strong gravitational lensing when the distortions are very apparent and weak gravitational lensing when the distortions of background sources are much smaller. These are three ways in which a galaxy can be distorted by the lensing effect. Displacement is the change in location of a body from its initial position. Convergence enlarges or shrinks background objects. Shear elongates them tangentially in the foreground around the mass. Using the flagship catalog, we simulate how a single galaxy can be distorted by the integrated foreground matter as evidence and illustration of the weak lensing effect. Within the densest nodes of the cosmic web are galaxy clusters. They are essential in the study of cosmic matter distribution, acting as gravitational lenses, distorting light. Here is a scientific representation of each component of weak lensing in cosmology. These lines and their changes precisely measure how galaxies are affected by the weak lensing effect. The effect is almost unnoticeable. That's why we need extremely high quality images of a large portion of the sky to measure how galaxies are distorted by the presence of dark matter. Euclid will map how dark energy distorts the images of millions of distant galaxies and how dark energy evolves in time by measuring the distorted images of different populations of galaxies across more than 10 billion light years from us. Dark energy makes up about 70% of the cosmos, yet we don't know what it is. Euclid will chart the universe structures at largest scale. From this, we can learn more about the role of gravity and the nature of dark energy.